Welcome. Welcome, Aquarius, to the love energy vibration reading. Let's see what is going on. All right, Aquarius. Um, so thank you for being here. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. So, what's here for love? I see um, you older women are really focusing on yourself. For the ones who doesn't have a relationship, is really focusing on yourself. I see um, the energy of some sort of a message that is coming in conflicts. A tower moment is here. An end is coming to a cancer in your life. Whoever this cancer is and whatever is transpiring, some sort of an end is coming to a cancer. I see a tower moment, riffling effect um, for some of you with your love life. I see the conflict is now over. People are recognizing some horrible situation, relationship, the, 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 the fight, the fights, quarrels is going to be over. So, ladies and gentlemen, Aquarian, this is the Valentine's time. Let's read it. Let's look in this. So, what we see is that uh, some sort of information came out. I see um, you women are just accepting what things is and just whatever the information that came out have um, pull a riffling effect um through some relationship some of you relationship not all of you relationship but women women entrepreneur women women who are really strong and stable i see that you are standing your ground and you are just speaking up and letting your partner know where um they are and you're taking back your power whatever is happening whatever is transpired a lot of you are taking back your power i see that a lot of you the red signs the signs are cautioning you and a lot of you are recognizing things about your partner at this time and whatever you're recognizing about your partner is cautioning you to be alert at certain things so that is happening and transpiring and this is um this is really good because whatever the the signs is and was it's cautioning cautioning a lot of you to be aware so if you recognize this is a, some sort of a message and this message is about some sort of a um problems with money with your partner and i see this is happening and i see also this energy of uh, the the building the tower moment the building um uh, means relationship is a uh, um you know relationship was already broken and now it is just it, it has crumbled and now there is still the residue of hashes uh, what is happening and what is transpiring so and now it's as if uh, things are now seen it's as if you women 50 years and older are recognizing that uh, this relationship was all over and, uh, you know, the residue of conflicts and, um, you, uh, you know, you're thinking, let me, let this go. I, I am good with this. Um, some of you are going to be caught up in a situation where another woman is in the play and that person get involved and you're just going to be walking away and recognizing this situation is no longer for me. I am leaving this situation and move forward. And this is going to be the best, best, best thing that you can do because you're recognizing that whatever was going on is now over and you are letting go and making that transition. I see some of you are dealing with some sort of a relationship. There is no um, real success because I see transformation, transformation. Especially if you're in a relationship with a, a cancer, a huge transformation is going to be coming in. The energy of the Wheel of Fortune, I see sadness for this cancer person because their partner recognizing um, and you, if you are this cancer person partner, you're recognizing that uh, everything was set, um, this was false in whatever way is as if uh, 
the whole marriage, the whole relationship was just false. Now, it could be affecting cancers, but it could be affecting anyone that recognize that this relationship needs to be end because it's not based on reality and it's not based on truth. And uh, you have to recognize sometimes it's time to just put something down and let something go because uh, whatever is happening and transpiring, it's best that you let it go. So some of you, um, the energy of the Wheel of Fortune is that the happiness and joy that was there in a relationship is no longer there. The conflict is now over and a lot of you are looking forward to leave this relationship and move forward and understand the direction in which this relationship should move and go in. Um, a lot of you are, you know, standing back from the issues, the problems, the quarrels and is recognizing that uh, life is what it is and you need to go with the punches. You need to roll with the punches and uh, recognize that, you you know, you can't make things happen if uh, um, the relationship is at a point where um, nothing is going on anymore. You have to accept what is transpiring. So if you look at this tower moment, this tower moment is uh, showing up some sort of an issue that was going on and some sort of a problem that was going on. Uh, some of you are having it with a cancer, some of you are having it with a Leo. And some of you are really taking the step and recognizing the music is now over and it's as if some of you have to go and create better music for yourself in order to find a better relationship, better LT relationship to come in your life. So transition, the end of the uh, quarrels and conflicts uh, um, is as if uh, the last person sing. Um, the tower has already uh, came down. Um, it is shattered uh, now. Uh, it came down. It is shattered now. And now people are recognizing that it's time for them to move on. Uh, move on because uh, um, the the conflicts and the arguments and the chaos that was between you and another person, you're going to be recognizing, I need to take my power back. As I take my power back, I'm, I'm capable of moving forward and letting go and healing myself in order to accumulate uh, um, the strength to move on, okay? So it's, it's not a good place. It's not a good place for anyone. Uh, I see a lot of you at listen and look at the the signs that people were showing up in the relationship. The quarrel, the arguments was unhealthy. Uh, a lot of you stand your ground and make sure that whatever the arguments is and was, that it is now over. The fights, um, you know, the aggressive situation is now over. It's now over and you are looking forward in a new direction. Now, these two major, you have um, three major uh, situations um, where, especially women 50 years and older, you are just ending a, a situation because you recognize this no longer support my life and you recognize that it's not helping anymore. Transition is coming up and the transition can be um, a, a situation where some of you are taking back your powers. And I see that a lot of you are using um, your inner um, power in order to recognize who you are and to stand strong and to let go of a relationship that is no longer working out, okay? So, um, love, it is a situation where a lot of you were hoping, hoping for some sort of a um, balance, hoping for some sort of a effort with balance to come in. And I see healing is being called for, okay? So you have the number six energy and it is all about healing. Healing begins, okay? So it could have been a horrible, horrible marriage, um, that was happening and transpiring an horrible relationship um, 
a relationship that was overpowering a whole lot of you. And now you're recognizing that I can make changes. I do not have to uh, sit and be caught up in the relationship because I can make the changes uh, to get out, walk away and recognize uh, what was happening and what was transpiring and create a better way of life for myself. So I see you are definitely um, taking back uh, and uh, creating some form of uh, happiness for yourself by recognizing um, happiness comes from within. No one can give me my happiness. And if a situation is not working out, is this better to say, you know, save myself by accepting, save myself and have dignity in order to move forward. And I see that's what a lot of people are going to be doing. And a lot of people are going to be recognizing that uh, sometimes you have to let go of things that is no longer working out for you. So it is a situation where the red flags was there. You recognize them. You're healing yourself. You are accepting how it is. You recognize you can't make people love you if they don't. And you're understanding how the way of the world is. And you're letting this go and walking away and recognizing, hey, I'm taking my life back and I am going to be creating a better way of life for myself because I recognize the red flags and now it's ended and I'm going to heal, heal. Okay, so it doesn't really matter what it is. Was it an argument? Was it a marriage? Was it a relationship that has been dragging out, dragging out, dragging out? You knew that this marriage, this relationship was over, but you were still holding on to it. It is now over. The last, the last energy is here. For the rest of you, I see that a lot of you who have started new relationship, not new love relationship, I see you're looking for the flags. You're really looking and making sure that you do not make the same mistake that you have made in the past. I do love you guys. If you want to follow us to the next uh, um, side to see the extended, I welcome you guys. Um, for the rest, this is a Valentine's Day that is going to be awakening a lot of you Aquarians. And uh, I am saying namaste until next time.